Hey guys, it's me, Chief from Spreadshot Games. Gonna try something a little bit new. Go with a gameplay and do some commentary. Uh, right now I'm playing Metro 2033. And what I'm here to talk about is THQ, as you might have known, uh, filed for bankruptcy. And a lot of their studios have recently been auctioned off. And I'm just here to talk about you know what happened with auction who's got what now and if some of the games we liked or didn't like are even gonna be made anymore I think this is very relevant to the gaming community because a while back THQ actually announced um, when like EA and a lot of other people just seemed like they were trying to go after any kind of audience they could THQ came out and publicly said we're just going to keep making games for the people who have been playing games and the people who want to play games. We're not going to try to get any new audience or nothing. We just want to make games for gamers. So I kind of respect that. And with that, you know, it kind of makes me wish I would have picked up more of their titles. I'm going to try to go back and play more of their titles. But hopefully with some of these results of their studios being auctioned off, we can still enjoy some of the franchises we like. The first one I got is Sega actually bought Relic, which is the company that makes uh, Company of Heroes. And as you know, Company of Heroes 2 is still, is still coming out. They're going to be publishing that game. And they bought it for a supposed $26.6 million. And then next, uh, Coke Media which owns uh i think it's they own the the publishing studio that made a uh, dead island i can't i think it's silver or something but coke media bought volition who as you guys know makes the saints row franchise and they also bought the rights to publishing the next game in this series the metro series so they also said that they'll they're gonna roll out future plans for both franchises so it sounds like they're not gonna shelve uh, the franchises they bought which was what I was very very interested in I definitely wanted these franchises to continue whether I like them or not because you know these companies they employ people there's game makers that make these video games and there's fans out there that want to see this stuff continue so even if it's not the biggest blockbuster games, I think they still have a right to exist. And I didn't want to see a company that was going to buy these, uh, you know, these games, the rights to these games, and then just put them on the shelf. We kind of saw that with one of my favorite games, Time Splitters, you know. Us as gamers are having to petition to get the thing made, um, which kind of sucks because I think there's an audience out there for it. But, you know, in the interest of making money and possibly keeping an update with uh you know they're already established shooter franchises owned by ea going such as battlefield stuff like that gets kind of put on the back burner which was i didn't want to see that happen with any of these games whether i liked them or not you know i just started playing this metro game it's it's pretty awesome i bought it as a ten dollar download off the xbox live marketplace so i'm having a lot of fun with it but it's good to see Volition, who I know a lot of people like the Saints Row franchise, you know. Uh, Volition, I think, went for quite a bit of money, $22.3 million, supposedly. And the rights to Metro got sold for five point eight. And again, that was Coke Media that bought that. Um, Sony bought Udraw, which I'm not sure what that is, but it was a THQ thing. Um, I'm not sure how much they paid for it, but... There's been little buzz about that, so it's not that big a deal, I guess. Crytek, who I mentioned earlier, who's supposedly going to be making the next Time Splitters game, they bought the rights to a uh, home front for five hundred thousand dollars. Again, I think Crytek is owned by EA, so who knows what will happen with that franchise? Since you know Battlefield's kind of EA's baby. Um, I mean, who knows how many, like, first-person military shooters they're actually going to want to make. But, so Homefront went to Crytek. And then Take-Two, who owns Rockstar and 2K Games, they bought Turtle Rock Studios for $10.8 million. 
and that studio has a codename game just called Evolve. And, you know, not much else I really know about that because it is just a code, you know, codename game right now. Hopefully, that's quite a bit of money compared to a lot of the other things on this list for a game. I don't know if Rockstar got to see the project and they were definitely interested in it, or not Rockstar, um, Take Two. If they got to see the project and, you know, notice it was, it was worth paying that much for, or they just took a gamble on it. But with 2K and you know, Rockstar as their studios. Um, I'm definitely not worried about any kind of game going to them. They've kind of proved themselves in the past that they can be very, very good at what they do. Um, Ubisoft on the list now, they bought THQ Montreal and the rights to the South Park, the Stick of Truth game. Uh, they bought Ubisoft, or not Ubisoft, they bought THQ Montreal for a, a suspected $3.2 million dollars. And no, they bought South Park for a suspected 3.2 million, the publishing rights to that. And then they bought THQ Montreal for 2.5 million. Now they did go ahead and say they're going to be uh, merging the uh, studios from THQ Montreal with Ubisoft Montreal. Lastly, and sadly, it seems like Vigil Games. The team that developed uh, the Darksiders series, it seems like no vi bids were actually put in for that company, so it doesn't look like we're actually going to get another Darksiders. I don't know if when the auction ends, that's the complete end of it. I don't know if the, the rights to publish a game or the team can be bought at all, but I was hoping maybe... Epic would have picked this game up, but from some inside stuff, it seems like they were never really interested. So that's unfortunate because I've always heard good things about the Darksiders games. I really want to pick up and play both of them. They look really interesting, especially towards me. Like it takes a very like heaven versus hell aspect on like uh, Armageddon and like the end of the world and stuff like that, which is really really interesting to me. But uh, sadly, it looks like, you know, Vigil didn't get picked up, so I know also that I've heard, you know, social media sites and other blogs and stuff abound. Uh, a lot of the, even though the teams were, you know, the, the, the rights to publish these games and stuff were picked up, a lot of the team members and employees at THQ are talking on social media sites and stuff that they're actually unemployed now, which really, really, you know, that blows and for any of those people you know men and women that develop these games um i'm very very sorry uh i know the games didn't sell that good and you know probably a lot of you guys worked really hard on this stuff uh, i wish you all the best of luck in the future and just from the gaming community in general um i know i'm enjoying like you know metro right now and there's got to be a lot of other gamers out there that have really enjoyed your work so, you know, thank you from me and, you know, some of the other gaming community that are fans of your work. And I wish you guys the best of luck in the future finding uh, future jobs and trying to just keep making games. Especially, you know, if you had a parent company that said, uh, you know, they wanted to make games for gamers. I hope that that attitude resonated throughout THQ. And if it did, um, I know I personally really appreciate it. So I just want to wish you all, you know, the best of luck. And, you know, just, just keep your head above water and stuff like that. Keep going, and, you know, I really, really, you know, hope the best for you guys in the future.